Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to me getting immediately kicked in the face. Uh, <laughs> it's not really how I wanted to start the episode, but then again, nothing is going to plan at the moment, is it? Get out of it. Well, so, apparently when you press record, a zombie spawns and attacks you. Jesus Christ, the moon is hostile. Let's, uh, let's land over here. So as you can see, I have done a little bit of extra work offline. I've moved my uh, my trees over here, and I now have a wonderful oxygen-rich environment, producing or preparing three collectors, and then feeding into this bubble, which means I have quite a large bubble around my home, uh, which you can see. Uh, I think I need to have a look into perhaps putting two, maybe one at this side and one at this side of my moon base, but uh, that's not, not the focus for today. The focus for today is to run through here, set up another dimensional door for quick transport but as you've just seen once again the moon is ridiculously hostile to a level of hostile that i don't even quite understand how i'm supposed to survive so what we're going to do today is we're going to build everything that we need to hopefully kill all of those little bastards and we're going to do so using the MFFS or the modular force field system. So we're going to build some key components. The first one we're going to look at is the Korachan driver. So the Korachan driver. They couldn't give it an easy name like power generator or force field power generator. Needs quite a lot of steel, um, which we do have actually. So we need. We're going to need an absolute ton of these focus matrices. So I'm going to make two stacks. That's potentially probably not even enough. And a battery is relatively easy. And so we should be able to make one of these now, nice and easy. Yep, so steel and a battery. Now, the more of these that we have, the more power that we'll generate, but I don't know how much we're going to need realistically for now. Um, so that's not a problem. So the, that's going to power the, the Fortron capacitor. So it's Fortron, I typed Fort and it went, no, oh, I must have typed it wrong. So we need another battery. Bugger. I'd even researched this a minute ago and I didn't get the right number of ingredients. So this Fortron capacitor is going to then take the power from the, uh, the driver and we then need or want an interdiction matrix. And this requires an ender chest and a shock modules. So an ender chest, I think, we shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Shock module. Oh, we've got enough copper wire. I don't even remember building any copper wire. There we go. Introduction matrix. So that's going to actually kill the enemies. And then we're going to need one of these, which is an anti hostile mob uh, module. And we're also going to want loads of scale modules. So. hit 64 of these that will maximize the size and I think that's everything I genuinely do think that's everything to get this going oh I'm typing it in the wrong one I don't know how much power I'm going to need but I should be set up so we'll go we'll go with this for now we'll see what I've done wrong oh, I know what I need I know what I need I know what I need I need some I need some levers I don't need 30 levers I logically only need three, but I'll take four because I'll always lose one or something. So we can head back to the moon now. Try and avoid getting killed or, or seen by all of the ridiculous enemies. Obviously, once I've got my base secured a little bit, oh crap, it's just there. I should be able to bring that inside. But here we have a power room with a set of energy cells that are currently powering up. And then we should be able to, if we've done this properly, and by if we've done this, I mean if I've done this properly. So if we had, let's try and work out where the middle is. So is that on the middle? There we go. So we can put down the, oh, get lost. You found your way into my base, did you? The leveled up. So we need to put the Fortran capacitor here. I don't need to, but I want to. And then you can set a frequency of one because there's no other frequencies 
and then we can put down the driver set that frequency to one as well that's to derive and then as long as we put down the lever like here switch that on and then we can put down a lever here like that power ground switch that on that should start to power that. Should is the keyword. And then we put down the interdiction matrix. So we'll put this put it there. And then put a torch like so. That's good. Put the frequency one, not ten. It's starting to get power, that's good. You then put this, I think it's in there, tells it to kill mobs, and then put this into here, which puts the range up, and so hopefully, if we turn this on, if we can get close to it, this guy should die. Uh. Oh, I've got a power in there now. Should die. Why are you not dying? Where's my power glove gone? Right, so we have a teething problem here, don't we? Will cause injury to kill all hostile mobs. I'm supposed to go in there? Oh! does yes they've just been zapped ah ha ha look at you getting zapped mate ah ha ha ah ha ha oh and it drops their stuff as well free mob drops so we can just see all of the enemies all around me getting killed now they shouldn't be able to come near me ah ha you just spawned and immediately died now I'm clearly um my my scales I've set the, the interdiction matrix far too 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 wide Let's just knock that off for a second. Knock that down to 32. So 35 should be enough, shouldn't it? So we've now got a totally safe environment around my base. So I can work in peace. That's the key. I can do the. I don't have to worry about continuously trying to start an episode and getting punched in the face. But if I get over here and I go, oi, 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 chaps. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh no. I wouldn't do that if I, oh. Did you come and get murdered inside my base? That was silly of you. Creeper. Creeper. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Hello, Mr. Creeper. You want to come and play? Hello, Mr. Creeper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come and get me. Come on. Oh, come on. I'll, st I'll stand like, I'll stand, I'll stand just here. Oh, did you get killed? <laughs> yeah, so our moon base is now very awesomely protected. You don't appear to be dying. Why are you not dying? There we go, you're dead. Excellent. So we have a modular force field system set up. It looks like this has just about enough power. This is, I suppose, it's using it quite, quite, quite heavily. How much power? How much power does this need in joules? So it only needs ten Minecraft joules. So I'm assuming that's not causing us any problems. Nope. So let's go make a couple more of them. Then we always want to keep this maximally powered. So the whatever it was. Nope. Bore. Uh, 
requires a battery. Let's make two more. And that should be everything, shouldn't it? So if we can make two of these. Let's grab another. Uh, let's see if we can turn it on with... Let's have a think what I'm going to do here. Do we have any red net cable? We have two red net cable. That's not good enough. That should be enough. So a bit of red net cable. Got that brilliantly. Make my life a lot easier. Turn you off for a second. And then we will... I have to put my power glove in the wrong place. Grab some more power. Set frequency one. And then we'll put the hole in here as well. Oops. Set this frequency one. Grab the red net cable. It's not going to be the most pretty thing in the world for now. But logically, Should be able to do this. Interesting. And then if we put down a lever here, it should switch everything on. Whoa! I don't mean for you to tear a massive hole in the wall. Uh, I don't know if that's kicking out or clicking in or anything. I don't want it to be. <laughs> Eep. Nope. Oh, crap. So let's have a look at how much more power we're getting now. There you go. It's starting to rise now. It's starting to pick up. It's starting to gain power. These are all happily kicking out. Nice, huge amounts of this Fortran stuff. Excellent. I don't know what these upgrades do. I'm assuming, is there some sort of, like, module... Dome, so that's for the force field. Glow, don't know if that helps. Disintegration, warn, warn, invert, silence, sponge, speed, increases the speed of a device. Shock, scale, stabilizes the field and crystallizes the field into solid blocks. Place the chest next to the blocks to stabilize the field. What? Oh, that'll be quite useful. I suppose that prevents them from having to kill them all the time. I'm assuming what's happening at the moment is they're spawning and then getting killed. But, that's fun. Let's go and do that. So, we want an anti-spawn module. Which one was that? It's one of these ones, wasn't it? Prevents intruder from placing or breaking blocks. Camouflage, interesting. So a capacity module seems quite useful. Let's try to go at that. Let's take some of those. We also want a spawn model, anti-spawn. So that's two friendlies and two. Let's just dodge what this does. Anti spawn. Prevents an entity from spawning in a specific region. Okay. So we need two of them. Oops.
and two of them will give me an anti-spawn module. Let's take these back to the moon place. And I have been watching Ghostcraft and I'm really tempted to start singing moonbase.com. I'm not going to. I refuse. So logically then we can put an anti-spawn module and that will stop things spawning. And in here, we can put a capacity module, logically. Doesn't appear to change anything. It can hold 700 kilojoules. It can now still sort 710, 720. Well, that's that's quite not. That's not very much. It's quite expensive then. So this this is main this is main never actually increasing. It's using as much as it gets, which is fine, I guess. All of these are working, aren't they? Yeah. So I could I could put quite a lot of upgrades. So quite so large amounts of upgrades would be large amounts of difference. That's about it, really. But we have an oxygen bubble, so we should logically within this area be able to take off my oxygen gear not die. If I walk out of here, I will die. So that's very cool, very useful, very interesting. And we now have an introduction matrix which we can fiddle with. So I'm going to obviously need to finish my base a little bit more uh, effectively than I have done. But let's quickly grab a chest from the chest of chests and just chuck it down uh, let's chuck it down here in this corner. And then we'll put our spare modules and levers and stuff for this in here. So that if, I don't know why I have an oxygen detector, I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, oxygen pipe, that'll be useful on the moon. Bricks that I'm making the base out of, that's going to be useful on the moon. Large flight stones and glowstones for the floor. Light, which doesn't appear to have much effect. There is. There is not very much light on the moon, and putting down a glowstone block doesn't really appear to do much. I have to look into different aspects of, of getting light involved. Starting to run a bit low on oxygen. Luckily, I carry a compressor with me wherever I go, and by that I mean I have one on the moon. So I can compress that while using the mini tank that I found for oxygen. These are eating the leaves. Actually, they're eating the leaves quite a lot. I do hope the leaves do respawn, otherwise it could be a little bit problematic. I guess. I do have 64 leaves that I collected from trees. And I believe these all count, so I could just throw these down like this. And it will be happy enough. Obviously, the number of leaves it can reach does influence the number of bubbles. Number of bubbles, the size of the bubble that I can create. So let's keep it happy just by throwing down a load of these. The bubble itself is inside the bubble. But planting trees is not really a massive problem, is it? I've got plenty of options when it comes to trees. Oops, jumped a bit too high. Ooh, did it eat the leaf immediately, or did I just place it on myself? And therefore didn't like it. Oh, all 64 leaves are down, are they? That maximises my oxygen again. There's no real problem with these, is there? It does, it does refill pretty quickly. It is a compressor, as, ev as ever. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, the introduction to MFFS, or the Modular Force Field System, using interdiction matrix to annoy my local moon compatriots. But this should mean that I can now... <laughs> it's so much fun. Gonna come and tease you all. Look, come over here. Oh no! Oh no! What are you gonna do? No! You and your friends. Yeah, you and what army? Yeah, you and what army? It's all good. So, moon base is progressing wonderfully and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed the episode and um, i hope you have a wonderful christmas i'll see you after that
Bye for now, guys.